Hi, Andre Dowdy here. Welcome to The Real Lesson Within, where we explore a movie clip and find some learning lessons from that movie. Today's movie, 42. Now, before we actually dig inside of this movie clip, I do want to bring this up. Me personally, I enjoyed and I appreciated that the story of Jackie Robinson was told in this movie 42. I also had a lot of issues and a lot of concerns about this movie because in my mind, this movie wasn't really about Jackie Robinson. This movie was about Branch Rickey. But we can talk about that later. What I would love to do is to show you these two things that I pulled out from this clip. Let's get started. The Phillies, seven for the Dodgers. No score with the bottom of the eighth coming up. All right, nigga. Hey, boy. Porch monkey. Hey, nigga, I know you can hear me. You know what you're here for, don't you? Huh? You're here to get the nigga dollars for Ricky at the gate. You don't belong here, nigga! Sit down. You sit down or I sit you down. What's the problem, son? You're the problem, you goddamn disgrace. What the hell kind of man are you? You know he can't fight back. Why don't you try picking on someone who can fight back? I'm not gonna fight you. Get thrown out of the game. Stanky now having a chin wag with his ex-teammate Chapman. Both men, masters of distraction. Stanky, of course, from second, and Chapman from the dugout. We'll have to wait and see what the umpire does, since he's well within his rights to kick Stanky right out of the game. Hey, 12! That's enough! Back to the dugout! You shut your mouth, or I shut it for you. This ain't happening. Hey, Stank, what's it like being a nigger's nigger? I don't know, Chapman. What's it like to be a redneck? Number piece of one, shit? allies are paramount. Black people have been fighting that good fight for generations, for centuries of years. We grow tired of fighting that same fight. It is the same fight that happened before the Civil War, the same fight after Civil War, the same fight during Reconstruction, during Jim Crow, during Civil Rights, now during Black Lives Matter. This is the same fight. We grow tired of this fight. We still fight, but we grow tired of it. We need allies to help with this fight. There are students in your classroom who need an ally. They are growing tired of being bullied. They are growing tired of having to deal with all of that pressure. They need help. They need a Ben Chapman. They need you to be that ally for them. So here's how you can help. So if you are not the majority inside of your classroom and you look around and you can only see sprinkles of minority students in there, they probably feel alone. I personally have been in that situation a billion times where I was the only black person in the room or I was the only black male in the room. Now, I will still speak my truth to power no matter what because that's just how I was raised. But there are other people in these classrooms who are alone and they have nobody to help them. They are dealing with pressures that you wouldn't imagine. Will you be their ally? Can you help them out? They're dealing with grown situations in middle schools. Will you be their ally? Will you help them out? During the civil rights era, Martin Luther King Jr. couldn't have done it by himself. He wasn't going to do it by himself. There's no way possible he was going to be able to do it by himself. He had to reach out across religions for help. There were Catholic priests who came to help him. When they marched in Selma, it wasn't just black people. Allies were important. There are allies at your school just waiting to help. Gather them up. Allies are paramount. Robinson up. Here's the pitch. And Jack 
Coach, a soft hit pass second. Not much of a hit to speak of, but Jackie is standing on twice. Mr. Pete Reza steps up into the batter's box. Robinson with another big lead off first. He's just as restless as a cat with a hot foot. <laughs> the Flatbush faithful voicing their approval of Jack as this type of scrappy play is exactly what they're prone to expect of their beloved bump. here as Robertson has practically willed himself into scoring position. Young Gene Hamansky steps to the plate, playing right today. Come on! Oh, and Hamansky cracks a single to left, and Robertson is able to try home for the first one of the game that may also be the decider. Number two. Channel that energy. Jackie is standing there. He's watching Chapman go back and forth with him. He's still hearing all of the slurs. He's still hearing and feeling that weight of racism at the plate. Instead of him cowering down, being scared, he uses it as a motivator. He channels the energy. Steps up to the plate. Hits it takes off after doing all of that he looks right back at that person who was doing all that noise talking he looks right back at that oppressor who was name calling him at that bully who was doing all of that and he gave him the look like i'm not going anywhere he channeled that energy inside of our classrooms there is a lot of students who have that energy and it is potential. It is inside. It is bubbling. They are upset. They are nervous. They are angry. They are mad. That energy is there. And there has to be a release of something. Give them those opportunities to channel that energy. It's the same way with you as teacher. What self-care are you doing so you can channel that energy elsewhere? Same way as you principal. What self-care are you doing? To channel that energy. Because if not, it will stay potential. And after a while, that potential will become kinetic and it will explode. How are you channeling that energy? Those are the two things that I found from this clip. Like I said earlier, uh, I enjoyed the historical aspect of this movie. And I loved how they brought Jackie Robinson's story to life for today's generation. I wonder and I wished if we as a society were actually ready for this type of movie because we barely hit the surface of what Jackie Robinson went through. If you read any of his autobiography or if you heard any of the stories from any of the colored players or the black players in the MLB during those days, there were some differences of stories and it was really heavy. What I didn't like about this movie was it never showed Jackie being the winner. It showed somebody else winning for Jackie, whether it be Branch Rickey coming in saying, I'm helping Jackie, or whether it was uh, Ben Chapman walking and saying, I'm helping Jackie. Jackie never got to be the winner. He never really got to be the protagonist to show everybody that I'm black, I'm a male, I'm here to stay, no one's going to take it from me. Instead, it was everybody else talking on the behalf of him. And I really didn't like that part. And that part goes against what I've seen footage of Jackie Robinson. 
Uh, you can find it on YouTube. You can read it in his autobiography. He talks about it a lot. And it really didn't show that much in this movie. And I wonder what were some of those reasons for that. But it's still a good movie. It's still a great historical uh, movie from that standpoint to show you how far we've come and how far we really need to go. This has been The Real Lesson Within. Until